tonight, a woman in a coma for two years, conscious again. And she's identifying her brother as the alleged attacker in the assault that left her on the cusp of death. Wanda Palmer was in a long-term care facility in Martinsville, Virginia, but police say she's finally able to tell them about what happened. It all began two years ago when Wanda was found slumped on her couch in her living room, unresponsive and severely wounded, according to the criminal complaint. They came to mow her grass and they found her in a big pool of blood, they said, and they run up on the hill real fast on a four-wheeler and told us and I called the police and the ambulance. We show up and we see her on the couch, bloodied, uh, battered, bludgeoned uh, in the head and face area. You know, the injuries were consistent with being hit with some sort of an edged weapon, you know, a hatchet, an axe, something along that line. According to police documents, Wanda was making the sound commonly referred to as the death rattle. Miraculously, she survived. Thank God she's still alive. Thank God. Investigators initially considered her brother, Daniel Palmer, a suspect due to a previous violent history between the two. But he told police he had not seen his sister in days. Police later spoke with a witness who said he saw Daniel Palmer in the front doorway at Wanda's trailer at midnight the night she was assaulted, according to the criminal complaint. The real thing we were missing up to this point was someone who could tell us what happened. You know, just recently, the, that actually come to fruition. At the end of June, Wanda had not only come out of her coma, but had begun to utter some single words more than two years after the incident. Authorities say they drove to her care facility to speak with her. During the conversation, police say she indicated that she recalled living in the trailer and being hurt there, and that she remembered more where she was able to not only name the attacker, but tell us um, that it was in fact her brother. Uh, we put together a plan there late last night, and today we had to actually travel by ATV into a remote location. Police charging 55-year-old Daniel Palmer with attempted murder and malicious wounding. Our attempts to reach Daniel for comment were unsuccessful. According to the magistrate court clerk in Jackson County, Palmer is refusing to sign any paperwork to obtain an attorney. But for Wendy, hopefully a step towards justice as she continues to recover. This case is really about the, the perseverance and the, the, the toughness and the strength of the victim in itself. And Stephen Romo joins us now in the studio. Stephen, oh, just an awful story. You mentioned there towards the end that he's refusing to sign any papers to get a lawyer. What else do we know about his demeanor? What's next for him? Yeah, we're actually hearing from law enforcement that he's sort of so combative that the magistrate had to go to the jail to arraign him. He would not be able to go to the courthouse from that. And we also know that his bond is set at $500,000. His next court date is actually a week from today. As for Wanda, she's telling police in interviews that she just needs prayer right now. She continues mm. to try to recover. Of course, she's never going to be the way she was before, according to law enforcement. But she is asking for those thoughts and prayers as she tries to get back to normal. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.